Hey guys, Rish here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to improve your FPS in Black Ops 3 on PC and how to optimize the game so that you get the best performance out of it. I will also have two preset config files in the description. One is going to be my settings and the other would be the complete lowest settings. If you don't care what the settings do or the explanation behind changing the settings, just replace the config file in your Black Ops 3 folder but I go into detail on what every setting does later on in the video. If you decide to just replace the config file, please leave a like on the video before you go and also hit that subscribe button for more zombies content on my channel so first off obviously if you have the game on steam this is what it'll show up as first thing you want to do is open the black ops 3 folder there's a quick way of doing this which is right click in the black ops 3 game then go into manage then browse local files and that will open the black ops 3 folder so what you have to do is edit a file in here so you go to players and then config.ini also to open this file what you need to do is right click the file and open with and use notepad or wordpad if it doesn't show up in this list use choose another app and look for another app here in other options wordpad is there but um, i'm gonna leave it like that because it already opens with notepad for me and once you've opened that it's got all the config settings over here so as you can see there's loads of loads of numbers and settings and stuff like that so this is the main thing that you're going to use to optimize your game i'm just going to tell you what the main things to change are so the main thing over here you want to change max fps to zero what this does is it removes the fps cap completely and it also helps the uh, game load in faster next one draw fps one that what that does is uh, shows the fps count on screen on my videos i normally have a fps count on the top right which is yellow which is the in-game fps counter for black ops 3 so uh, you might want to have that if you want to see your fps but uh, i have it on anyways i always leave it on it's nice to see it see it toggle frame rate smoothing it'll make your games more smoother but it would it might lower the performance you don't want to uh, enable it if you don't want uh, less fps but if you get in like really drastic changes in fps this could help i leave this off because i just want the highest fps as i can fov fov this is a preference i normally use max fov on zombies um but uh you can have any fov normally the lower the fov the better the fps so if you want to uh squeeze out some more performance lower the fov but um, higher FOV has an advantage so that you can see more around you but if, if your FPS is too low on high FOV and doing all the other tweaks then uh, try lower your FOV and it will help your performance in the game these settings don't really matter these are more like to do with the controls and sensitivity and stuff that doesn't really matter that much what you might want to change is the maximum number of simultaneous human corpses this will change the corpse count if you want it it might increase performance if you reduce this but um it hasn't made much of a difference for me max frame latency mine's is on one i'm going to change that to zero just to see how it goes i haven't tried it on zero but i think zero might help if you put it on a higher number then you could possibly get more performance if you put it on zero use the system default so i'll put it on zero you want to leave serializes render set to zero uh, this one it just it's just a uh, more settings about your system about your graphics card and stuff if you want to um, increase performance here you might want to increase the video memory to one so it uses all the video memory for your graphics card this one restrict graphics options this removes the graphics options if your PC is too weak for the game I have it on zero if you have a weaker PC then you might want to set this to uh, zero if your FPS increased you might want to increase the settings slightly more you want to keep the full screen mode to one what that does is it gives you exclusive full screen or just normal full screen this will help with performance as well but if you want to uh, tab out and tab in quite a lot you can do full screen window window size that's just a resolution refresh rate that should be your monitors refresh rate mine's is 143.8855 it's automatically set from in game so uh, i'm not going to need to change that resolution percent this is the uh, rendering resolution that you have in game and mine's is set at 100 because i want the render resolution to be the, exactly the same as my uh, window resolution if you are having really Really bad performance you can lower this to 50 which is the minimum but you can adjust this i'd say keep it 100 otherwise your game will look really bad back buffer count you want to change this to uh two or three it depends if you're using v-sync uh you want to change this to three and i think if you're using g-sync you want to change this to three because g-sync is kind of like v-sync otherwise keep it at two this over here it says the lower numbers are higher quality so i set mine to zero because i want the highest quality but if you're getting performance issues put that on two for this 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 one it's not lower numbers which increase the quality so you would want to put it on two if you want the best quality and on zero if you want the worst quality which will increase performance for this one zero is for best quality and three is 
for the worst quality so you wouldn't put it on free if you're having fps issues same with this one put it on 15 if you're having fps issues this one put it on 16 if you're having fps issues this one put it on 2 if you're having fps issues for these i disabled the uh, dynamic light shadows and dynamic sun shadows i don't really care about shadows that much in my game so i kind of just leave it at a medium-ish setting so as you can see these are the settings that i use but obviously if you want the best performance you want to put it to the lowest number so 128 for this 128 for this one and you will have all of this on zero and for this one just leave it as it is on your notepad for this one you want to put this on zero for shadow filtering if you want more performance for this one you want low, a lower number if you want high fps four is uh, what i have it on i have it on like a medium-ish number I, I kind of adjusted mines for a, a balance between quality and performance because my pc is quite powerful on all of these settings you're going to want to put them all to the lowest uh, if you want the best performance order independent transparency you want to put to zero oit layers you want to put to eight but when this is zero it doesn't matter about this but if you if you have this on put this to eight for the low for better performance for this it tells you the screen space occlusion method what i am using is gtao high quality which is um, a quality uh, ambient occlusion but normally you'd want this disabled so uh, just type in disabled in here and it will disable the ambient occlusion anti-aliasing technique i don't use anti-aliasing because i don't need it i don't think it's necessary on 1080p but if you want a smoother look you might want to add anti-aliasing fxa is best for if you want a smoother look with full performance but none is obviously the best performance here so what you want to do for this one if you want motion blur on you could turn it on it might smooth the look of things but i turn it off because it's really distracting i really don't like motion blur and uh, here's the motion blur quality this will only activate if you have motion blur on but i'd say keep motion blur off and it probably would improve performance too subsurface scattering turn that to zero auto restore full screen you want to turn that to one if you have full screen enabled this saying you want, might want to change to zero or change it to one depending on what kind of system you have i think it might increase performance if you put this on zero um but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to try on zero and see if things look better okay so once you've done that you want to exit out of that and click save to make sure it saves and it should save all your settings and if you want to make sure the settings don't change change it to read only so that your your config won't change and then click apply click ok another thing you might want to do to increase the game startup time is to go into video and rename this bo3 global logo sequence to logo sequence one or some other other file name i've changed my name my name of this file to logo sequence one and what that does is stops the black Ops 3 intro screen from showing up so it goes straight into the game makes loading the game up faster so if you want to do that go ahead and do that another thing you want to do is go back to the main black Ops free folder and there should be a file over here called d3d compiler underscore 46 i do not have it here because i've already deleted it but if you have it on this location delete it you could see an increase in performance as if there's one in this folder use the outdated version when it comes with the game instead of using the windows one that is automatically updated if you're worried about doing this just move it into another folder and if you are having issues just bring it back in if you think this is causing issues for you but for me it was working fine so i left it deleted okay so now i'm going to go into the game and show you what the performance looks like okay so my performance might not be as good as yours because i am running obs and recording at the same time but we'll see how the performance is hopefully it's pretty good okay the game is starting up right now and as you can probably tell there's no intro screen it goes straight into the game instead of having to have the intro screen that says treyarch and everything and here's the main game right now all right so we're loaded in now let's see what kind of fps we get in game okay it does look like it's running really really well actually um getting around 150 120 fps and obviously these ain't the lowest lowest settings i've changed my settings to have like a balance between quality and performance let's turn on power this might be a test of the lag Okay, no, I don't don't see any lag at all. Uh, the snow disappeared though. That was a bit weird. That's the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you. This was a quick tutorial on how to improve your performance on Black Ops 3. If this helped you, please uh, leave a like on the video and leave a comment saying this helped. So other people watching know. Share this with other people that might be having performance issues in Black Ops 3 on PC. Also, if you enjoy some Black Ops 3 zombies content, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading 
and live streaming daily Black Ops 3 zombies content. So if you guys are interested in that, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified. If you could follow my Twitch, it would be greatly appreciated too as it is slightly better in terms of quality. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys on my next video slash stream. Goodbye.